Uh, thank you for being here today. My name is Joel Winicky, and uh, I have had the pleasure in the past of representing people in the Oregon area for 16 years as a member of the state legislature. I also grew up about four miles down County Elm on Wentz Road, went to a one-room schoolhouse when my twin brother uh, and I were the first grade. The second grade, one kid was held back, and one kid moved in. We had four. It was the biggest class in the school. My parents got divorced when I was nine years old. We moved to Verona. My mother had never worked outside the home. She did not have a driver's license, and we grew up poor. Gave my own way through the University of Wisconsin, worked at a mobile gas station for 14 years, got elected to city council in Verona when I was still in college. And all of that matters because all of us, these are all good people in this race, but who we are, where we come from, what our values are, and what our experience is matters. Now, I would ask all of you to look at this race as if you were making the personal hiring decision and you were looking at six resumes. My resume will look pretty darn good. I've got 20 years of experience in the public sector. I was a member of the city council in Verona. I was a member of the state assembly. I was a member of the state senate. I was the uh, uh, division administrator for the state of Wisconsin uh, bargaining labor contracts. I also was a very successful chair of the state of uh, uh, Wisconsin's Democratic Party. I served six years as the executive director of a construct construction labor management group. I worked six years as the political director for a uh, major private labor union, and I did pump gas for eight years and worked as a researcher for a tax organization. Experience does matter because this county is at a crossroads. In my lifetime, I'm 54 years old, I've never seen such an assault on the people of this area being focused by state government. And you know, they didn't campaign on this. This all kind of happened after the election. But what's happening is not good. It is not good. Our quality of life is at risk. Public employees, public servants, as I like to call them, make up as much as 35% of the population in this county when you add spouses and children. That's 150,000 people. You know what's gonna happen if they cut the salaries by 15 to 17% as I predict this governor will in the coming weeks? It's not just the public sector that's gonna get hurt. It's the hardware store, it's the shopping center, it's everywhere else. We can either stand up and challenge these issues or we can sit back and watch our way of life crumble. I, for one, will want to fight. Thank you all very much.